Right, John, well, uh, first, first of all, is everyone all fit, ready to go for tomorrow? Um, close to everyone. It, uh, it looks like deer will probably miss out again. But um, other than that, and Neil won't be here, um, from the last week's game, everyone's fit and ready to go. So what were some of the reflections you took out of Saturday? I mean, it was a bit of a tough loss, you know, first loss in quite some time. Yeah. Yeah, look, it wasn't uh, as bad as the scoreline reflected. Uh, we we know that um, you know we we played well for 60 minutes, really well. That uh, we had the, probably the better chances overall in those 60 minutes. They had two, and they were pretty ruthless in front of goal, and they took their chances. And then after that, we lost our way a little bit, but uh, that, that can happen at times. And you know, we, we don't really want to reflect on it too much because we went nine undefeated and uh, we've got a big game tomorrow night. So it's always nice that you can, uh, after a loss like that, you can back up and play a derby and, uh, and the players are looking forward to it and excited. I mean, you've had some tough meetings against Victory already this season, but it's been quite some time since you've played them, I guess. Is it harder to make reflections from those two games? It's been about three months since you played them on Boxing Day. No, we still looked at it. We still looked at, uh, especially the, the Boxing Day game, um, and also their their recent games and see how they've been playing and uh, and if they they've changed anything and their their system and and the way that they go about things and uh, there's still a lot of things that are very similar and uh, and I'm sure that they're doing the same with us you know that they'll look at uh, our recent games and see how we've improved and uh, and you know it will be a, a tough game obviously because they're a good side and uh, and you know. But we're excited about playing a, a, another derby. You know, we played Melbourne City last week, and we saw how exciting that was with the atmosphere and and the, the tempo of the game. And we expect it to be very similar against Victory. The squad relishing an opportunity to get one up over Victory. I mean, two tough losses earlier in the year against them. They're one of the only teams that you haven't beaten this season. I mean, the squad really, you know, is that something really important? Not just being a derby, but an opportunity to get one up over Victory as well. Not really. No, it's just the derby you want to win. Uh, you no, know, we're not really looking back and saying, "Oh, we lost to them uh, last time," because that's a long time ago, and uh, a lot has passed since then. And uh, and again, you know, they're, they're games that we we perform well in. So, you know, normally when you perform well, the the, the results will go your way. And uh, and so, you know, in derbies especially and close games, you know, minor details make a big difference. So. We have to be switched on the whole time and make sure that uh, those details that uh, are taken care of and we're ready for what they throw at us and uh, and hopefully we can make the most out of uh, when we've got the ball and those opportunities. I think mean, Noel Bottich got his first opportunity in uh, the weekend. Are you hoping to maybe integrate more into the team? You know, a bit of squad, a bit of freshening up the squad a little bit. You know, you've got 10 minutes on the bench. Is that straight to see more I did look. Noah's still got uh, a lot of work to do. He knows that. We know that. Uh, we're helping him uh, develop as a player, and it's always with the younger players. You know, that when they perform well in training um, and uh, and they keep on uh, improving, then they'll get their opportunities. And, and that's no different for every young player that we've got. So, you know, we don't just throw them in there for the sake of throwing them in because we want to freshen up the squad. We want to throw them in when you know they're performing well and they deserve that opportunity. Very important. It's uh, you know it's it's great for us that uh, they can play some games uh, in the NPL against you know uh, season well, the, you know bigger players. You know sometimes the uh, the youth uh, league they're they're all the same age and they're all the same experience where they they come up against different sizes, different experiences. Um, and, and they need minutes and uh, and you know with our squad especially at the moment we're a little bit thin at the moment that uh, you know those players that have played games it holds them in good stead for when they do have have to play with the, the first team. John just looking past the <laughs> yeah, as well. yourself being a former soccer well, 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 big game as well. Well, as well. I guess you know, you've been in those big games before big World Cup qualifiers need to stand up. I guess what are your thoughts on I guess their situation heading into this week? Excited! I'm excited to watch it because uh, it's you know there's no pressure on me. It's uh, <laughs> it's now seeing what the Socceroos do, um, and you know I I still think that we've got a really good chance of making it. I, I'm uh, very positive around the, the whole situation. We're playing at home against Japan. We um, we normally do well against Japan. It's going to be a full house, and uh, we know what it's like when it's a full house there, and, and the the supporters get behind the Socceroos. So. I'm excited to see how we, how we play, and also for some new faces that have come in. We know about Bruno Fornaroli, but also, you know, some younger players that have come into the camp. Uh, Nick D'Agostino, 
uh, for Lani, it's, uh, it's exciting for them and, and also for some of the experienced players that have been around those big games before. So I think we'll get the result and then we'll go down to the last game against Saudi Arabia. Just one last one from me. Um, I mean, you've been in this situation with West United before, obviously early in the year where you had two lead results and you were able to get the side back on track with the big win. Yeah. I guess how important is it to get the win, sort of stamp it out before it becomes a bit of a trend that you start to see yourself? potentially spiralling, just getting back on winning ways? Yeah, look, we want to win every game. You know, every game's important, um, but the, the reaction's important. The, the reaction is, is more about the, the way that we play and the performance, and then, uh, you know, hopefully you get the, the result that you want with that performance. So I, I don't expect us to lose too much confidence, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it was nine games. Eventually, you know, something was going to give at, at one stage, but, uh, you know, we're... We're looking forward to tomorrow night's game now. Uh, just to do the Socceroos, the, there's a bit on the line. Is, is this sort of the most important game that they play? I mean, they're all important, but there's just so much at stake for them uh, this week. Yeah, oh, look, every four years uh, there you get these games that come up because uh, you know, qualifying through Asia is not easy, and uh, and we've, we've struggled in the past as well. So, uh, and then you get this important game that you, it's uh, it seems like a must win, and it is a must win. But the players can't go into that, you know, feeling that pressure. They need to go in, uh, making sure that they're prepared, making sure that uh, they they perform well. And normally, that the you know, if they do that, the result will go for them. So, it's it's a huge game, but that's why you play the game to play in these uh, big games and uh, and so you know I don't really miss playing but you miss being involved in these sorts of games so um, I don't miss playing because uh, my knees still hurt so <laughs> I'm glad that I retired. All good? You ask all mine. Good stuff, thanks. Right, thanks thanks everyone.